Is nature trying to tell us something? Are we listening to that message? Can we learn to hear those messages? Can we learn from older religions that simply worship nature like the Celtics and Native Americans? In northern Michigan, a week-long blizzard in early April 2007 dumped over five feet of snow. Less than two months later, two back-to-back hailstorms. What does nature want us to know? <laughs> Those are questions we care about at the Turtle Island Project. If you don't know already, Turtle Island is North America, a name given by the truly indigenous peoples, Native Americans. Are Americans paying enough respect to those who were here first, the Native Americans, the indigenous peoples of our home? Those two are important questions that will be examined by the Turtle Island Project. Welcome to the Turtle Island Project, based in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Before we get into some of the details about the Turtle Island Project, we want to dedicate this video to Bishop James Kelsey. Bishop Kelsey was a strong supporter of the Turtle Island Project, and in fact, he met with us to discuss the project just 24 hours before his untimely death. The Episcopal Diocese of Northern Michigan Bishop James Kelsey was killed in a traffic accident on June 3, 2007. Just a day before Bishop Kelsey's tragic accident, he met with clergy from several religions, including the director of the Turtle Island Project, Reverend Lynn Hubbard. The Turtle Island Project seeks to develop new theological resources and spiritual practices that reflect the place we inhabit, the continent of North America, called Turtle Island. North America was first called Turtle Island by indigenous communities. The director of the Turtle Island Project is Reverend Lynn Hubbard. Dr. Hubbard is the pastor at the Eden by the Bay Lutheran Church in Munising, Michigan. Dr. Hubbard said it's his hope that these resources and practices in the Turtle Island Project will help imagine a new North American theology with the assistance of First Nations people. In case you don't know, the First Nations peoples are Native Americans or American Indians. Dr. Hubbard said he seeks to encourage mutual understanding and respect between these communities in order to address issues of health and healing, religion and science, practical theology, and environmental issues. Dr. Hubbard is sponsoring regional and national conferences, local seminars, and regional retreats centering on these concerns. The first conference, the Grand Island Conference and Retreat Program, will be held in the fall of 2007. It will be held in the Grand Island National Recreation Area, a large island off of Munising, Michigan, that for generations was inhabited by the Ojibwa tribe. Dr. Hubbard said he plans to not only stimulate the intellect with these conferences, but also provide the aesthetic and spiritual understandings usually associated in a retreat setting, and Grand Island is perfect for that. Participants will also take a boat cruise on Lake Superior. It's called the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. It's simply one of the most beautiful natural areas in the world. In a special sunset cruise, participants will be able to view numerous shipwrecks in an adjacent underwater sanctuary. The boat has a glass bottom, and Lake Superior is pristine, so it will be easy to see the shipwrecks as they lay on the bottom of Munising Bay. Now a look at some of the conferences and seminars. In late October 2007, the Health and Healing Seminar will be offered in Munising. Name, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover. It will explore the works of Dr. Robert Moore. On several dates in November 2007, the Native American Theology Seminar Series will begin. The name, In the Spirit of the Earth, Ecology and Liberation.
The seminar will examine the ecological crisis facing America and the contribution of Native American theology toward a solution to that crisis. It will include works from Leonardo Boff, Vine Deloria Jr., George Tinker, and Steve Charleston. In mid-September 2007, a regional conference called the Ecology Series. The conference will include Celtic spirituality, ecology, and participative consciousness, recreating an ancient wisdom tradition of relationship. Dr. Hubbard says the conference will examine the integration of Paleolithic consciousness, Celtic spirituality, contemporary spirituality, and psychology. The conference will include works from Calvin Luther Martin, J. Philip Newell, and Gregory Bateson. The main speaker is Rev. Dr. George Cairns with the Chicago Theological Seminary and some of the other offerings planned for the winter of 2007 and the spring of 2008. On Tuesday, December 4th, the Religion and Science Seminar. The name, Life is a Miracle, Reflections on the Work of Wendell Berry. Then on Tuesdays in March of 2008, the Religion and Science Seminar series continues. It's the Religion and Science Seminar. It's called In the Absence of the Sacred, Science as Myth and Religion. In April 2008, the Health and Healing Series. This will include evening discussions. The topic, the Healing Circle, Spirituality and Sexual Healing. The evening will be a reflection on the role of the ritual process in the healing of juvenile sex offenders. That's from 7 to 10 p.m. on April 22, 2008. And in May and June of 2008, the Religion and Science Series seminars will continue with the flight of the wild gander. The topic, a series of conversations on the nature of mythopoetic language, fundamentalism, and the decline of Christianity. In March of 2008, there will be an ecumenical retreat. It's called The Pipe and Christ. It's about Native American spiritualities and Christianity. The name, The Pipe and Christ. That's Friday, March 28, 2008. In late May 2008, a regional conference as the Religion and Science series continues. It's called The Sacred Depths of Nature, The Politics of Religion and Science. The guest speaker, Dr. Richard Bussey of Indiana University Northwest. This will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, May 29th through the 31st, 2008. A regional retreat will be held in the fall of 2007, an ecumenical retreat, the quest for harmony, the contemplation of nature in Christian tradition. That's on November 9, 2007, from 9 to 4. Reverend Hubbard is the pastor of the Eden-on-the-Bay Lutheran Church in Munising, Michigan. You can contact Reverend Hubbard at 906-387-5616. For more information on the Turtle Island Project, write Post Office Box 360, Munising, Michigan. All seminars will be held at Upfront and Company in Marquette, Michigan. Conferences and retreats will be held at the Eden-on-the-Bay Lutheran Church in Munising. There are small fees for the retreats, conferences, and seminars to cover costs. Retreats, $25. Seminars, $20 a session. Conferences, $190. You can pay by credit card using the website turtleislandproject.org or make checks payable to the Turtle Island Project. P.O. Box 360, Munising, Michigan. I'm Greg Peterson, and you're watching Turtle Island TV.